Let's take a look at arithmetic sequences. Sometimes you may hear them referred to as arithmetic sequences. Either way, they're still the same thing. Arithmetic sequences, the key is that we add the same thing to get from one term to the next. So as we look at this first sequence, we have 2, 5, 8, 11. How do we get from 2 to 5? Well, we add 3. Okay, how do we get from 5 to 8? We add 3. How do we get from 8 to 11? We add 3. So if we're asked to get a number of terms following the 11, what we can do is simply add 3 to get those additional terms. So our next term would be 14. Add 3 to that, we'd have 17. Add 3 to that, we'd have 20, and so forth. That's an arithmetic sequence because we're adding the same thing to go from one term to the next. Let's take a look at this one. We start with 13 and then we go 8, 3, and negative 2. Okay, well to get from 13 to 8, we subtract 5. To go from 8 to 3, we subtract 5. To go from 3 to negative 2, we subtract 5. So if I'm asked to get additional terms, I simply need to subtract 5. So negative 2 minus 5 takes me to negative 7. Negative 7 minus 5 goes negative 12. And negative 12 minus 5 goes negative 17. And so on. We can just simply add or subtract whatever the common difference is to get additional terms, but sometimes it's going to ask us for terms that it would take a long time for us to go through one by one to get to, for example, if we look down here, the 21st term. That would take us quite a while. Instead of doing that, what we can do is use a little formula to figure out what that term would be. So the formula is this a sub 1 oops a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d now let's talk about what each of those pieces mean a sub 1 is the first term okay this is the first term in our sequence then we have n n is the number of the term we're looking for for and D is that common difference so a lot of times when you're asked to find these answers in these problems you'll be given these things and then you'll use this formula right here a sub 1 plus n minus 1 that quantity times D which is the common difference Okay, so let's take a look down here. We've got a sub 1 equals 5, d, the common difference is 4, and we're asked to find the seventh term in that arithmetic sequence. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill in what we're given. We're given a sub 1, which is 5, so 5 plus, then we have n minus 1. n is the number of the term we're looking for. That in this case is 7 minus 1 and then that's going to be multiplied by the common difference and that is 4 so we're going to go ahead and there's our expression we need to simplify that to figure out what our seventh term would be so start inside the parentheses here 7 minus 1 is 6 so we have 5 plus 6 times 4 then simplify again we multiply first 6 times 4 is 24 24 plus 5 is 29. So in this sequence, where the first term is 5, the common difference is 4, and we're looking for the seventh term, that seventh term would be 29. Now, let's just for the fun of it, figure out, do it the other way, and see if that's what we come up with. So we're starting at 5, and our common difference is 4. So 
a common difference, that means we're adding 4. So 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 4 is 17. 17 plus 4 is 21. 21 plus 4 is 25. And 25 plus 4 is 29. Now here's our 29. That should be the seventh term. So let's look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sure enough. So our formula works. Let's take a look at another example here. We have the first term being 17. The common difference is negative 2. And we're looking for the 21st term. Again, we're going to use our formula up here, a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. That'll get us our term. So a sub 1 in this case is 17. So 17 plus n is the number of the term we're looking for, in this case the 21st term. So 21 minus 1 times our common difference, which in this case is negative 2. So we're going to multiply that by negative 2. Okay, so start simplifying. Go ahead and go inside the parentheses here. 21 minus 1 is 20. So 17 plus 20 times negative 2. Then we multiply first. So we have 17 plus 20 times negative 2 is negative 40. Then we finish up simplifying that. 17 plus negative 40 gives us negative 23. So our 21st term in this series would be negative 23. So arithmetic sequences are arithmetic sequences. Remember, they are sequences that are found by adding the same thing to get from one term to the next. If you add different things, it's not an arithmetic sequence. And if you multiply, then it's not an arithmetic sequence either. You have to add the same thing over and over. The formula we can use if we're given the first term, the number of the term that we're looking for, and the common difference to find that term is right here. a sub 1 plus n minus 1, that quantity, times d. Hopefully that was helpful. Good luck.